And whether you have crawled in here today, or whether you've walked in here today, or danced in here today, we affirm that you will dance and skip out. For there are no emotions, no ways of being that are not spiritual. There is nothing that we experience as human beings that isn't part of our spiritual journey to wholeness, to health, back to our awareness of the oneness with the divine. So anything you're going through can be turned over and turned around when we have faith, when we have the belief that I am one with God. I am one with the divine. And all this isn't happening to me. It is happening for me. In that change of a pronoun, right? Or excuse me, uh, change of that one word, not a pronoun. <laughs> but you can change your pronouns here if you want to. That's perfectly all right. Preposition was the word I was looking for, not pronoun. <laughs> that change of the preposition from two to four makes all the difference in the world. For when things happen in the world and we say, how, we ask the question, how can this be for me? We engage with what is to transform it into what could be. I talked to you earlier about that experience with my mom this week. It wasn't happening to her or to me and my siblings, but for us. For mom to release her body and a mind that no longer worked for her. Release the pain and the struggle of how to take care of her into the joy of her being reunited with her parents and her brothers and sisters and her ancestors and friends who have gone before. And that she has intimate and immediate access to each and every one of us right here and right now. And that's true for all of us on our spiritual journey, whether your parents have transitioned and your loved ones have transitioned or not, be it your children or your parents. The loss of them we feel in our human form and the joy of them we feel in our spiritual being constantly. The truth is what the Catholic priest and anthropologist Pierre Teilhard de Chardin said that we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We're spiritual beings having a human one. And in that human experience, we come together in this moment to begin the new year spiritually awake and aware. Aware of our spiritual nature. Aware of the journey we are on to know something bigger and better than what we have until this moment. There is always, always room for more spirit to be revealed to us. There is always room for more joy, more love, more understanding, more compassion, more peace. And the only thing that is blocking it is our own thinking. God is not withholding anything. Do we get that? There is nothing that spirit, God, source, mind, divine source is withholding from us. The only thing that is keeping us from experiencing it right here and right now is our own thoughts, our beliefs, our thinking that something or someone is against us, something or someone is wrong, and that we must fight the evil. The secret to fighting the evil is to let it go, not to hold on to it, not to call it out, but just to simply, simply open our hands. That's why testifying, opening, these are considered spiritual postures, the mudras that we do in prayer, that the Hindus do in prayer, that Christians do in prayer, that Jews do in prayer. All of that is about opening and releasing in that spirituality, in that understanding that we come together today to start anew, especially on New Year's Eve. We're here to start anew. And that leads us to the question, what do we want to let go of? What do we want to reinvent? You know, the myth of the phoenix 
is that it is destroyed completely by fire. It is nothing but ashes. And out of those ashes, something new and miraculous and magnificent appears. We get to do that together today. We get to decide what we are going to leave in the ash heap. That what we are going to take out of our being, out of our mind, out of our consciousness, and burn it so that we can create the life we say we long for, the life we dream of in 2024. That life, that spirit God wants for us is cheering us on. If you have a longing in your heart, a longing that may seem frustrated, a longing that may seem just out of reach constantly, that longing, that desire has been planted, a seed planted in you by spirit. And to not let that spirit, that seed crack open, not let that plant blossom to its fullest, is a thwarting of divine energy, of divine purpose. But here's the good part. There is no, absolutely no time in spirit. There's no need for regret about what we didn't do last week, last year, last month, last decade. Because right here and right now, with God, all things are possible. Matthew, right? With God, with spirit, all things are possible. Not some, not only for the righteous, but all things are possible. For those who believe. Do you believe that all things are possible? Yes. Do you really believe that all things are possible? <laughs> yes. Do you want to know that in a physical and spiritual way in 2024? Yes. Do you want, as we just sang, to see the miracles happen? Yes. Do you want the miracles to happen in your life? Do you want to see the miracles happening in other people's lives? Do we want to celebrate the rebirth of this nation, of this planet, of this earth for 2024, that all of us come together as one, honoring the divine presence in each and every one of us and celebrating our glorious, glorious humanity? Yes! yes. Whew, then you're in the right place. Because <laughs> we have come here to do that by doing it ourselves and creating the environment, creating the space for every being on the planet, every being on the planet to be honored, celebrated, and loved, and live into their full divine potential. A world that works for everyone. No exceptions, no exclusions. Yes? Yeah. Yes. So that's what we're here to do today, by doing it for ourselves first and creating the consciousness that holds the space for everyone else to live into their spiritual fullness, wholeness, and health. Whew. You ready for it? Then let's do it. Let's take this idea to our time of meditation. So I invite you to take your bulletin out. And in your bulletin, if you hand me that one, David, I'll, I'll demonstrate. You will find this little piece of white paper. This is delicate white paper. It is flash paper, okay? So be very careful when you write on it. It will tear easily. But there's a burning bowl here. At the end of the meditation, not now, at the end of the meditation, I will invite you to write on this piece of paper. If anyone does not have a piece of paper, let me know. We need some over here for the choir members, right? Right. right. It should be in your bulletin. If you don't have a bulletin, it's in there. So we're going to do a meditation first so that you can become aware of what it is truly is that is yours to release. You may have written your list at home. I invite you to leave it at home <laughs> and to be prepared to release what spirit tells you today. Okay? Take a deep breath, but have your pen and your paper ready. And our music team is going to take us into our meditation. First with music.
So take a deep breath and exhale. Let go of the shore and let the water carry you. Let go of the shore, float into the mystery. Let go of the shore and let the water carry you. Let go of the shore, float into the mystery. I have a it's all inside of me. I'll just close my eyes and breathe and know that I am safe. Let go of the shore. Go. Right here and right now, you know what it is you need to let go of. What belief, what behavior, what habit is holding you back from experiencing your full life, your full potential, your full life of service and love? Is there something that you need to release? A way of being that served you once, but no longer does. A belief in disease that keeps you from experiencing the beauty and the wholeness of your body. A belief in the power of others to thwart your good. A belief that somehow you're not good enough. Right here and right now, I invite you to go deep into spirit. Go deep into the center of your being and bravely, courageously, Tap in to what is yours to let go of so that you can be fully, lovingly, completely present for the life you're here to live. Right here and right now in the silence, I invite you to contemplate and right.
possibility I am open to the possibility of a life that is meant to be lived by me I don't have all To take it slow I believe Something's calling me Where the path leads I don't know But I am open To the possibility I am open to the possibility of a life that is meant to be lived by me. I am open, open, open. you to do this with us I mentioned it earlier but you can release this outside with a match or if you got the flash paper that we sent to our regular attendees you can be doing with this with us at home for those of you in the room when you're ready the music team is going to continue to sing I invite you to come up and like this just gently take what you're going to release and place it right over the flame and it disintegrates just drop it in and it'll disappear as now Elizabeth will demonstrate then David and Mike will be on each side of us here with your 12 power cards so after you release what is yours I invite you to take your card we each will get one card of one of the 12 powers and we'll have a little ceremony about the 12 powers after so as Mike gets into place here and our music team can continue the burning bowl is open for you.
I will surrender to my greatest, highest good. I will release any fear, any fear that blocks my way. My way. And every step I take, For every step I take is taken, is taken in, in pure faith. And I am kinder every moment, every day. And I'm more loving every moment, every day. I will surrender every moment, every day. And so it is.